This scenario shows a subway station with people entering and exiting the station. We use a local collision avoidance mechanism based on reciprocal velocity obstacles with a naive global path planner for this particular simulation. Please note that the simple agent-based models operate in a local scope, resulting in congestion at the turnstiles. Such behavior is clearly undesirable. We allow the user to direct the simulation using a simple sketch-based interface. The agents are partitioned into six groups according to their common objective or destination. We allow the user to quickly sketch the intended direction of movement through the turnstiles. The user also edits the trajectories of agents at a group level to reduce congestion and get better macroscopic behavior. Our approach allows the user to specify realistic crowd flows to control the flow of agents through the turnstiles and achieve a desired macroscopic behavior. Our method works in conjunction with simple agent-based models. Its use is independent of the choice of local collision avoidance schemes used, and it allows the user to edit a simulation at runtime. Here is a schematic overview of our approach. There are several possible modes of user input. The user can choose to interactively sketch the desired trajectories, or could import flow fields extracted from crowd footage for more realistic simulation. A naive combination of the guidance fields with the pre-existing global path planner could result in the occurrence of singularities and convergence to the goal cannot be guaranteed. Our key contribution lies in seamlessly compositing arbitrary user input with a goal-directed plan to generate singularity-free navigation fields for global navigation. This scenario is comprised of four groups of 25 agents in each corner of the environment whose goals lie in the opposite corner. In the middle, there are four square obstacles that form narrow passageways. Traditional agent-based models, which plan for each agent independently, lead to congestion in the center of the environment. To resolve the problems with the earlier simulation, the user specifies a single, global circular flow that guides the agents to their respective goals. The simulation on the left shows how a naive combination of the user-specified guidance field with a roadmap-based global path planner cannot ensure convergence to the goal. In contrast, the simulation on the right shows how our approach constructs a singularity-free navigation field that guarantees that the agents reach their goals. This simulation indicates how our approach allows the user to edit the simulation at the group level. Here, the user specifies trajectories independently for each group of agents. These trajectories combine with the global planner to create unique crowd flows through the environment. This scenario shows four streams of agents meeting at a crossing. It is a well-known fact observed in real crowds that this particular configuration results in the formation of a vortex at the center. Traditional agent-based models are not necessarily able to replicate this particular emergent phenomenon. Our approach allows the user to emulate such emergent phenomena, such as vortex formation and formation of lanes, even in simple agent-based models, to generate more plausible behavior. This simulation shows a group of agents moving through a corridor. The width of the user-drawn stroke is specified at runtime and allows the user to effectively control the dispersion of agents along the trajectory. This simulation shows pedestrians crossing at a regular crosswalk. Our method allows the user to edit the simulation in a variety of ways. In this particular example, flow fields are extracted from actual footage of pedestrians at a crosswalk. The user can then import these flow fields into the crowd simulation framework to generate more realistic behavior. This is also an important step towards data-driven crowd simulation. Extracting the flow information from videos is a difficult problem, and the resultant guidance fields are often sparse and noisy. This data can be used in conjunction with the sketch-based framework to generate desired behaviors. 